is filling up with blood. Intubation card? He has a through and through oral defect and the mandible is crushed. We need hemostats. Josh, you have multiple fractures in your cheek and jaw and a large piece of your cheek tissue, skin, and underlying muscle was torn off. You're going to need extensive reconstructive surgery to save your jaw function. Was the woman on the subway a friend of yours? Wake him up. He should know he's never going to talk or eat solid food again. Forever. No good deed goes unpunished. Why does it always work out that way? It doesn't. Most good deeds get rewarded. We can do better. There is no other procedure. We'll invent one. Unless we took an osseocutaneous free flap from the radial forearm, we need approximately two inches and could use the natural concavity. And he could um, lose the use of his hand. That seems like a reasonable trade-off. I'm not telling this guy that we can restore his speech and all it'll cost is his hand. to the facial artery and vein, then flip up the pectoralis. It's a great idea. With considerable physio and speech therapy, this graft would allow you to not only chew and swallow whole foods, but it would enable you to talk again. We need to know you understand. It's an experimental procedure. In addition to all of the usual surgical risks, there are all of the unknowns. Bleeding out, permanent graft loss, stroke, death. Good for you, Josh. Secured. Remove clamps. Blood flow to and from graft. Let's move on to the pectoralis flap. Blood pressure's dropping. Okay, heart rate is up. Push IV fluids give epinephrine one milligram and start a drip. Performing carotid arteriotomy, we'll try to aspirate out the clot. Stand by with heparin. Carotid clot removed. EG looking good. Resuming pectoralis flap dissection. Good work, everybody. Go ahead, say something. Thank you. Hello. Hey. What made you do it? Why did you step in? I don't know. You needed help. 